All right, a group of U.S. lawmakers are in India to meet Tibetan spiritual leader, the Dalai Lama. Right, Tim, with the head of the delegation saying that U.S. President Joe Biden will soon sign a bill that aims to press China to resolve the Tibet dispute. The American delegation on a two-day visit to Dharamshala is led by U.S. House Foreign Affairs Committee Chairman Michael McCall. The delegation of lawmakers includes former House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and prominent congressional members. These are the live shots that we're getting from Dharamsala, India right now. As you can see, celebrations are in full swing as a team of U.S. lawmakers are in Dharamsala right now to meet their spiritual leader, the Dalai Lama. We can see people there entering uh the place where the Dalai Lama in a short while from now will be meeting Nancy Pelosi and a delegation of other diplomats from the United States of America. Now triggering a strong protest from China, Beijing warned Washington of resolute measures to be initiated by China to firmly defend its sovereignty, security and development interests if the American President Biden signs the new bill into law. Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesperson also urged Biden not to sign the bipartisan Tibet policy bill that was adopted by both the U.S. Senate and the House of Representatives. These are the live visuals that we're getting right now from Dharamsala. And to discuss what the mood is like on ground and, of course, talk about the meeting that is set to happen maybe in an hour from now, it's around 9 AM India time. We have with us our principal diplomatic correspondent Sidhan Sibbal. Sidhan, thank you so much for joining us. What can you tell us of the mood on ground right now? Well, uh, right now I'm standing at uh, the Dalai Lama Temple and this is the place where uh, the public uh, welcome of uh, the U.S. delegation will take place. Right now the U.S. delegation uh, is meeting His Holiness uh, Dalai Lama. We are expected to get the shots very soon. But let me give you a, a, a flavor of what's happening on the ground. Uh, this is the place where, of course, uh, the public uh, welcome will take place and you can see a uh, presence of a uh, lot of people and a lot of uh, children as well. But let me show you the exact location where the welcome will take place and this is the place uh, where the welcome will take place where the US uh, uh, lawmakers will be present and will be speaking uh, in a, a public way uh, about their commitment to the Tibetan cause. Now yesterday we saw they uh, speaking at the Tibetan parliament in exile and Nancy Pelosi is present and she talked about uh, the Resolve Tibet Act and this is something that is uh, awaiting the signatures of the US President Joe Biden but all in all, a uh, uh, message of commitment by the U.S. Congress, uh, but also a geopolitical message to Beijing. Of course, China has reacted strongly uh, to the visit of the U.S. Uh, uh, lawmakers and uh, have uh, slammed the visit of the U.S. Uh, uh, lawmakers, reminding them that how right. Tibet is part of China and reminding them of the one China policy. Right, Siddhant, apart from the enthusiasm that we are seeing there, the monastery there in Dharamshala, uh, the meeting is currently underway. Talk to us about how the Chinese Foreign Ministry has clearly said that U.S. should not have any contact with the Dalai group in any form and stop sending the wrong signal to the world. Well, the Chinese reaction on expected lines, in fact, uh, uh, the Chinese reaction came just few hours after uh, the U.S. delegation landed here in Dharamshala. But uh, no surprises when it comes to uh, the Chinese reaction. They, of course, are uh, not very happy about uh, any kind of engagement uh, with uh, the Tibetan leadership uh, in exile here in India. In the past, in fact, uh, almost two uh, months ago, there was a delegation which came from Europe and there was a strong reaction then also by the Chinese but uh, essentially what uh, the Americans are doing it looks like is uh, to send a message of their commitment uh, especially the US Congress uh, and uh, we also know that uh, the uh, Holiness uh, His Holiness Dalai Lama will be traveling to US as well so uh, will there be a meeting between uh, His Holiness and the US President Joe Biden is something that will be closely watched his birthday is also uh, mm. going to come uh, very soon will there be a gift from the American side as well and how much will it impact the US China relationship because we mm. have seen a nascent recovery in the relationship we also saw the visit of the Chinese president but will these developments cast a shadow is something that only time will tell 
All right, well, Sidhan, thank you so much for bringing us the latest. Of course, we'll continue to track all developments there with you there. Thank you so much.